Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we are unboxing my new computer. Okay, so you guys know I've been trying to get some new technology going, some upgrades and things. We've got the camera on order. It's on its way here. It's not here yet, unfortunately, so I'm still using my old camera. I did get my new lighting in. This is the first time I've used the studio lighting in this room, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully it's good, uh, but it's definitely going to be good for the reviews, so look forward to that. And to go with those things, I uh, got a new computer, which is a nice new laptop, and it is by far the most expensive computer I've ever gotten, so I'm really excited to get this thing opened up. So let's do that, and we'll talk about it a little bit. I think I've never opened one of these before, because this is kind of unique packaging. It's like a cardboard shipper right outside the regular packaging. It looks like I'm supposed to just cut it open on the bottom. Again, don't use this kind of knife to open your packages. It's not a good idea, but it's the knife I have in this room. And bringing another knife into this room is just way too much effort. So we're going to keep using the wrong kind of knife and hope that you guys don't witness me lose a finger on camera. Well, it might be good for views, it's uh, probably not the best situation for me. So let's see if we can get this open now. It helps also if you actually cut the tape. So let's cut that tape. So this computer is a laptop obviously, but I got one that is basically going to be able to do everything I need out of a computer, whether it's gaming, or processing, or editing, anything I need to do, I should be able to do it with this. It's got basically the best I could get without going crazy expensive. Um, we don't need to talk about specifics in terms of money, but uh, this one should be more than sufficient without spending as much as a, a, a new car. Because you can, you can keep going up and up and up and up, of course, so you have to limit yourself somewhere. Uh, for those of you curious, it is an Alienware, and no, I'm not sponsored by Dell or Alienware at this point. However, if they were so inclined, I might be uh, willing to work with them for that. All right, let's get this opened up. The handle needs to get tucked in. And a little bit of a dent here on the bottom. I'm sure it's not going to be an issue, but with expensive purchases like this, I'm already a little bit of a paranoid person, so I'm a little bit worried always that something might be a problem. So it looks like, I don't know if you guys have ever opened one of these, I haven't. This is just padding to keep everything in place, and it looks like the machine is just sitting here nicely in this presentation, which is pretty cool. I have to say, you guys know I'm a Halo fan, and uh, this has a very Halo-esque vibe to it. I've got some schmutz on here, but I think that's probably just from the foam, so I should be able to clean that off. Let's pull the computer out. I don't know. The best way to do that would probably be to take this out first. So let's see what's in here. So this is a giant power brick, which is actually probably underpowered. This one's a 180. You probably want to use the two, a 240, I think, for this computer. So I might end up upgrading this. We'll see. I'm not really going to be putting it through its paces too much most of the time. Uh, I'll be underutilizing most of this machine's power. So hopefully I'll be able to get by with the 180. It is a 17-inch laptop because I wanted to get the better screen and the bigger size and the full keyboard. I'm trying to figure out the best way to get this out of here. It has a 6th gen. Core i7 processor, which runs at 2.5 megahertz with uh, 3.5 with the turbo boost. So that should be more than enough. I know I can get better if I get a PC, uh, like a desktop computer, uh, but I do most of my work on the couch. So a uh, desktop computer isn't what I need, unfortunately. So I had to deck out a laptop the best I could. All right, so I just took all the foam and everything out. Apparently you're not supposed to do that because we have lots of glue here, but that's okay. It's gonna be easier to work with. So, on the underside of the foam, just more foam. On the top side, we get our computer. So I guess uh, not a whole lot going on in this packaging other than the computer itself. Let's look at this first. 
little introduction to Alienware, I guess. They're talking about themselves. And I don't care, because I care about the computer. We have another little, just so you guys can see, this is how this stuff is packaged in case you are going to be getting something. So that's your little insert there, and this looks like it's something else. I don't know what it is. Can't get it out. There's no finger holes. So this is an envelope. Hopefully it's filled with money so that I don't have to actually pay for this thing. I kind of doubt it. It's our little packaging for more paperwork. Quick start guide, warranty information. I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be starting it on camera because I want to make sure I do everything properly. But let's take a look at the computer real quick. And then we'll call it a wrap. And you guys will reap the benefits of all my new technology in my videos. And this should allow me to stream everything I want to and do everything I need to. So, very nice looking on the top. I love that brushed look. These vents and things. It has lots of lights on it too, so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to light it up with a nice cool blue. Very industrial looking, futuristic looking. Hopefully I'll be able to clean these spots off. I don't know if you guys can see those. There's some little spots around here. It's a little annoying, but they'll probably come off. And then down here we also have some, but hopefully that's just dustiness and packaging things. Alright, so let's open it up and take a look at the inside. I don't believe there's a latch. Yeah, there's no latch. Ooh, very sleek looking. Very sleek indeed. More of those little prints though, I'm going to have to, I really hope those come off. But this all lights up, so it's going to look way cool up against that sleek kind of matte finish. Very psyched about this, and it's a fancy monitor also. So that's it, I will, uh, I'm going to go play with this thing now. Thanks for watching guys, uh, I, I think you guys like these kind of videos, if you do let me know. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you do, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, video games, unboxings, tech stuff, everything. I'm going to try to mash it all up into this one channel for now, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting, gaming, playing, doing whatever it is you do.